corn dogs, funnel cakes. Oh yeah, buddy. Cotton candy. It dissolves in your mouth. It's super delicious. These are your grandpa's state fair foods from decades ago. A quaint bite of history, taking us back to a time when people were just beginning to push the limits of state fair food. Now, decades later, modern mad food scientists are continuously innovating extreme food combinations that would make old granny faint. Here, we've got barbecue sauce, pulled pork, mashed potatoes, more barbecue sauce, more pulled pork, more mashed potatoes, all built layer by layer to make one big, beautiful parfait. But how did we get here? To find out, let's back up. The New York State Fair is the oldest in the USA, starting in Syracuse in 1841. Welcome to the New York State Fair. Back then, state fairs were a way to promote agriculture, a way to compete over who has the most handsome pig or cow. And in general, they were meant to promote rural life. They have a beef barn. They have a cow birthing farm. They even have pig racing. Perhaps they will let me be a contestant. Over time, state fairs evolved to include entertainment like games and rickety rides ran by questionable carnies. That machine has gas or something. But more than that, state fairs have evolved to serve up over-the-top food creations you won't find anywhere else. Because as we know, Applebee's or Denny's simply wouldn't have the box to serve up deep-fried Pop-Tarts. Do I need good health insurance if I eat here? Oh no, it's fat-free grease we use. Okay. You're all good. In this series, I'm on a mission to document the incredible food innovation taking place across this country, starting at the New York State Fair, where over 34,000 pounds of potatoes, mostly in the form of french fries, are sold each year. This is a very unique dessert. I was reading the description, and it said that it has a caramel injection. And I thought, wow, are they using a syringe? Are they using a turkey baster? And then Josh molested my <laughs> dessert. Then we head west to the Minnesota State Fair, famous for every type of food you can imagine being found on a stick. Look at this, it's basically a meat stick with a rice paper wrapper. Alas, we end our cross-country journey at the Washington State Fair. A 20-day extravaganza where over 12,000 smoked turkey legs are gobbled up. If you don't like hot flaming Cheetos, don't get this one. There must be a bag and a half of Cheetos on here. Everywhere I go, I'll be hunting down and documenting the most extreme, downright irresponsible inventions these vendors have borne into reality. Like the defibrillator, a sandwich brought to new unhealthy heights as each of its ingredients are fried in a pool of hot oil. Deep fried half pound burger with deep fried bacon, deep fried cheddar cheese, deep fried cheese curds, deep fried pickles between two grilled cheese sandwiches. Is that what I'm going to be eating? There's the barbecue split at Porky's Pork Palace, where all the usual banana split ingredients have been replaced with various smoked meats with a cherry tomato on top. Pulled pork is so juicy and it's just drowned in what she called a barbecue wash. I'm going to use that for my new body soap. If you like your sweets with a little bit of protein, you'll love this Twix wrapped in bacon, then deep fried. This is why we stay disciplined in midsummer. So at the end of summer, we can just let it all go. And if that wasn't confusing enough for your taste buds, how about a Korean cheese dog coated in fruity pebbles or flaming hot Cheeto dust? A little bit of sweet and savory. It's delicious. In this series, we can't have too much cheese. Mm -hmm. Too much sugar. This is a respectable white pile, enough to make Pablo Escobar impressed. Or too much grease. After this, I'm going to need a defibrillator to keep my heart going. Oh my gosh. I'm searching high and low for this country's most outlandish state fair food and you're gonna see it all in 24 hours oh, look what he's got. oh no uh, okay this is mac and cheese filled with crawfish crawfish you don't like did, crawfish i don't know hold on uh, you just gotta get it clean because that's how mama does it that's how mama does it. 